know what tomorrow holds. It got personal. Montgomery County Democrat Eric Ludke sharing why he supports the measure. Three of his family members attempted suicide. He says his mom suffered a long, painful death from esophageal cancer. This bill, in my opinion, is not the government putting its finger on the scales. It's the government taking its finger off the scales. The bill allows a doctor to prescribe a lethal dose of drugs to an adult patient who has a terminal illness with a diagnosis of less than six months to live. They have to ask for the prescription three times, once in writing with a witness. They must also take the medication themselves. This is not a bill about telling people what to do. This is a bill about taking government out of the process between a doctor and a patient. The emotional debate brought some delegates to tears. I have to oppose the bill, and I've listened to it many times with an open mind. But I think what we need to realize and acknowledge that it's this bill, like most things, is not as simple as it seems. There are very real consequences beyond just giving this option to an individual that may not be good for humanity. This is an intensely painful issue for all of us. But I truly believe we as government officials cannot and should not put the state behind the idea that there is a particular justified time when we qualify a life as such that it's okay to extinguish it. Before voting in favor, Anne Arundel County Democrat Delegate Sandy Bartlett shared her painful experience with cancer. To get an idea of my pain and pressure level, picture a sensitive body part that you are particularly fond of being scraped away and replaced with cement blocks on raw skin. Every breath hurt. I believe that um, my Savior suffered and died for me. And I don't think that I have a right to skirt that moment in my life. The chamber fell silent after the final vote for passage. The measure now goes to the Senate. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.